I'm going to make myself some sort of samosa type snacks. To do this I've got some leftover meat, I've got some pre-cooked sweet potato, um, a little bit off the ends of some bok choy that I've just pre-cooked, some mushroom and red pepper, I've got some peas, frozen peas that I've sort of half cooked and some frozen onion that I've half cooked and I've got some butter puff pastry, some cumin seeds and salt and pepper. Now the first thing I'm going to do is to mix all these vegetables and the meat together to get them into one bowl and then I'm going to make the little containers for the <laughs> samosas. Such fun! As usual, I'm preheating the halogen at 350 and basically I've got, it, I've got a big Pyrex dish in there that I've, I've put some oil on so I'm heating the oil, you can probably see it there I'm heating the oil at the same time and so the whole of that's just warming up. I've got it away from the bottom, as you can probably see. I've got the extender on there um, because I want plenty of airflow, as much airflow as I can, to the bottom, even though I'm going to be turning these over. So that's all the vegetables and a little bit of meat. As you can see, way more vegetables than any meat. I've also added a little bit of uh, fresh green onion because as you know, I grow my own. <laughs> that's last week's and this is this week's that's growing. So as you can see, they're looking really great. One of the best things I ever learned how to do was do that. Now, this is a pre-made pastry. And I've had it out of the freezer overnight and out of the fridge. I put it in the fridge overnight and I've had it out of the fridge for probably half an hour. Just gonna put some so obviously I want to make sure that it doesn't stick. I'm just going to put a little bit of flour over it, not too much. And now we're just going to cut it. Apparently not evenly. <laughs> Now then, I'm going to put these on the side while I do the first ones. Alright, now what they say is the first thing you do is to fold it this way and then fold it this way again. Straighten it up a bit. Hmm. I've got a feeling that should be a little more square. There we go. One, two. And then that will give me and now what I'm going to do is I've just got a little bit of water here and I'm just going to Add a bit of water there and as you can see that gives me a little pouch into which I can put food. Not very much but some. So I'm going to take my premix mix 
Got my premix in there. Want a bit of meat. There we go. Not too much. And then again, a little bit of water and just seal it up. And there we go. Not perfect looking, but this I'm going to keep because obviously I'm going to have a few leftovers. This one is slightly bigger, so I'm going to do that, and then that. Mm. I think I'm going to do that a little bigger there. It's always better to have a little bit too much rather than not enough. There, making the pouch here. I'm going to cut it here. Carefully. Some bits in, a little bit of meat as well. Make sure I've got a bit of everything. Maybe a little bit too much. And then fold it over. Now you do know, as I said, that I've never done this before, so it's an experiment. And I'm trying to make it not too difficult for anybody. So there we go. Good. got them in nicely. I'm going to put them on for 10 minutes and let's see how they do. Again, as it's an experiment, so that's 10 minutes at 350. Turn this so you can see it better. No, they're probably going to explode, people, so... See, that one right there is beginning to undo already. <laughs> That's how we learn. Okay, so before we have a major disaster with that... I'm just literally going to put it back where it's meant to be. Try and seal it up a little bit. Ah, 
can't help thinking that maybe it needs an air hole. true but they look pretty good I've just put some sweet and sour sauce in there yum <laughs> Thank you.